Let's talk about youth injections. We put all sorts of things on our face uh, for us to look younger looking, prettier, we want to, we want to glow. And that's what I'm going to talk about, about the mistakes you probably do. Watch this video to the end, please. It's very important. You probably know or maybe heard of uh, microneedling procedures. Uh, if you don't, let me know in the comment below. If you do, uh, also let me know on the comment below. There is a mesotherapy and uh, lots of other facial treatment. But what I will tell you will shock you. If you are watching my video for the first time, I'm Albina, I'm clinical nutritionist, fitness coach and aesthetic practitioner. And I'm also a mom of three young children. In my next video, I will explain in more details how microneedling can help you with wrinkles and give you that glow you want. I have been doing microneedling on myself for over four years. And it is one of the best procedure on the face and neck. And a lot of aestheticians don't know what you should do before you do any facial procedures. When I started doing microneedling on myself, I didn't have any qualifications. When I went into aesthetics and qualified to be an aesthetic practitioner, I have learned something new and still learning. As I always say in my videos, if you are not learning or teaching, you are not awake or alive. Number one, and it is a number one, it is essential to do a deep facial clean. Clean your pores, remove dead skin, and in a couple of days you come back for microneedling or any other treatments. When I was learning about microneedling and practicing on other people, I noticed that most of these women and men come with a dirty skin. Yes, you could say you can wash your face with a face soap or a cleanser, but it will not clean your skin. The expensive anti-aging serums and vitamins will not work because your skin is locked and you can use tons of uh, uh, scrubs and scrubs and face scrubs and peeling. You will not open the pores like some um, aesthetic practitioner tell you that this will work, this will work. No, it will not work and I have tried them. And one of the famous machine, absolutely everyone rave about it, this machine, hydrofacial. Okay, that's another video. In this machine, it's only three things that are useful. The rest, what the, everyone is rave about it, clean your pores. No, it doesn't, it absolutely doesn't. When I was doing the course, my teacher and other girls who are in aesthetic business and nurses uh, told me that deep pore extraction is not very important. It's not a big deal, that's what they say, it's not a big deal. But I'm afraid, with all the respect to you, I would disagree. Really, I would disagree because um, I have been doing deep pore extraction for definitely 23 years, but let's say 20 years. And I don't have a big pores like some would say. If you have deep pore extraction regularly, I mean, I do once a month, you will have big pores. No, that's wrong. I've been doing for so many years and I don't have massive pores, no. In practicing on people, uh, what I notice, they cover their face with BB creams, foundation, and you can see through the foundation, the skin is screaming for help. Uh, some aesthetician would say, no, it doesn't matter, you do extract the pores with uh, um, where is it? It's this one, yeah. So, which is using 
the solution. And I tell you, no, it doesn't extract anything. It's wrong, it doesn't work, it's just you show people or your client that you actually do work, but it doesn't in reality. You, the, all what you do is applying more and more product on a dirty skin. It doesn't work as good if you will do full extraction um, and then any treatment will just glide. Your face will glow. It, it's just work as magic and I love magic. I don't believe in magic, but I love what happens after you do full deep pore extraction. Back home in Uzbekistan, I used to go to the salon for deep pore extraction. And yes, that was my first three years I went there. But when I came back to the UK and went to the salon for the first time to do my facial, proper facial, ultimately I left the salon and very disappointed. She just used lots of different facial scrubs, but it's not proper job. It's not, the job is not properly done. It's just the surface. But then I mastered the techniques and have been doing pore extraction now for, yeah, 20 years. Three years in the salon and now 20 years. Wow, that makes me look old. I'm not that old, even though I am. It doesn't matter if you're old or not old. Over the years, people have said to me that I'm so lucky to have a skin like I have now. And, you know, it's not a luck. It's a work. It's not that I woke up and just uh, lucky. I don't wear foundation because foundation is not for me. I do wear foundation when uh, I compete in bodybuilding, but I don't wear foundation during the day because why? Why would you cover the face when it's already glowing? Some believe that you can remove dead skin and pores with peeling. No, you don't. I've tried. No, you don't. They don't work. And my channel is all about true. Peeling is great. I love peeling and you should do light peeling every month, maybe every two months and proper one in the winter time. The peeling is good. Yes, you remove the dead layer of the skin, but it doesn't clean as good. And if you have occasionally or all the time, your face is just uh, with the pimples or have like a uh, rush sort of on the skin, you try to cover this with foundation and try to look for medication uh, to help with your skin, uh, none of this is gonna work. None of the expensive creams, none of the expensive serums, none of the treatment you will do will work if you not do the base, the most important part. If you disagree with me, please let me know in the comment below. But I know people who disagree with me and I look at their skin and I think, yes, you do need help with the skin, even though you've been in this business for so many years, but you do need a help with the skin. In the beginning, you might need more treatments uh, to extract all the pores, but you might not. And most of the time, uh, I achieve great result from one treatment. Extraction facial have a variety of benefits and these benefits can include improved skin tone and texture, reduced brown spots and the most importantly I think is hyperpigmentation appearance and fever future breakout. I have read 19 published clinical trials regarding facial pores and the benefit of facial pores extraction. Despite the horror stories, may you heard that pores extraction will leave um, big pores, uh, that's not true. Because clogged pores, that is the root caused by many common skin problems. Some will say, no, it doesn't, it's genetic. I will tell you, yes, it is genetic, 1%. 
and the rest is how you look after your skin. This dark complexion to more severe conditions like acne and hyperpigmentation, it's all because you don't clean your face properly. And if you will, and I hope after this video you will, you will see a massive difference, massive. I want to mention some clinics use metal tools for pore extraction and I have tried them too. My view on these tools is not positive. When you use metal tools, you damage your skin. You would say, yes, but squeezing out, you damage them too. But there is a trick. I told you I have mastered this treatment over 20 years. Yes, I'm only recently qualified to be aesthetic practitioner. When you go for deep pore extractions, you will see some aestheticians use, actually some, not all, uh, I know one, which she didn't, uh, they use uh, steamer. But how they use it? They do. They steam your face for five minutes and then do extraction for full face. But in my practice, when you do extraction on one part of the face, the other side get dry. And then what happens, they, um, they steam your face and then they do this part, let's say, or side, or this part extraction. These get dry. So then they try to squeeze so hard and plus they do it with like two fingers and doing all this. It's, it's wrong. Then your face is red. You notice over the time that your face, and you don't get the benefit from this pore extraction. If you already have tried this treatment and say it's not for me, most likely they did exactly what I say, five minutes or 10 minutes full face steam and then extract the whole face. No, what I think it works and it does work, you do by sections. So you steam one area, extract. You steam another area, extract. It's what some do, they extract their pores from the nose they leave this out. Some people do have here as well, blackheads. Um, it just doesn't work to extract the whole face and just work on a whole face at one time. It's quicker, yes. Is it effective? No. Your face will be red for days and maybe sometimes bruises. But that's the not, the, not the right way. It's not. Uh, I think this way is when I start learning how to do this, but over the years I've learned the nicer way that your skin responds better. And yes, it takes longer when you extract uh, pores by sections, but it's more effective. You may experience with one of those treatments that I just explained, and they use cotton bud, dry cotton bud, and try to extract. And I thought, no, 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 this is wrong. So I found my own way, and it's great. For me, it's the only way. Maybe you have different techniques. Please let me know in the comment below. I would like to hear this. If you care about your skin and want the perfect results, do it right. And I guarantee, after this treatment, you will change your mind and probably be it all these BB creams and foundations. I don't do any microneedling or mesotherapy or I don't inject anything on a dirty skin. That's my rule. If you don't want to deep uh, pore extractions, then I cannot help you with any procedures because I think it's the base that you should do first and then and then apply anything you want except moisturizers cream I will tell you about the creams and serums in another video I hope you like this video I know this video is very long if you have any questions ideas for future videos please let me know add the comment below I always read your comments and I always reply and I want to say big thank you for my subscribers and people who is watching my videos following me 
for years and see my progression from being fitness coach uh, and now working in a clinic. Uh, now I do both. I train clients in the morning and work in a clinic during the day and in the evening. If you are in London and would like to book deep pore facial um, extraction, please email me on the email you see on your screen. This one or this one, I don't know. <laughs> so you see the email, email me to book an appointment and you'll be amazed of the results. And after that, we can book for other treatments. If you are not in London and you want to see how I do it on myself, let me know in the comment below and I'll make a separate video so that you can do it at home. Uh, it will be difficult in the beginning, yes, uh, it will be hard, but you can do it. Thank you for watching my videos, thank you for subscribing, thank you for following and just simply thank you. Thank you for being with Simply Fit London and now with Cutting Edge Medical Aesthetics. Thank you so much. Look after your health because your health is your wealth and please look after your skin because your skin show your health yes your skin show what happens inside and diet of course it's important because what you eat will show up as well i hope you like this video bye